Hi guys, my name is Rachel and welcome back to your own self where we keep it 100. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Okay, back with another one. Hey, shots. Okay, so this video is about being single. Um, this, I, f I don't know why I'm getting more shy and stuff, but I feel like this is a very sensitive topic for me because I feel like um, throughout my life I've had very like different opinions about being single um, yeah so I will start off with being single is not a disease and a relationship is not a cure for the single disease let me start off by saying that I think that being single is a very empowering thing. It's a very nice phase to be in in your life. And I think it's really important to appreciate the time that you have when you're single because your time is your time. You can just book a trip to Greece without having to explain it to your partner. You can dress however you like. You can do whatever you want, obviously with in reason but when you're in a relationship with someone the decisions that you make actually impact and affect the other person okay um, and I think people can be very obsessed with relationships I think relationships are very much glamorized um, people only see the positive parts of being in a relationship being in a relationship can be don't get me wrong being in a relationship is a very beautiful thing if it's not toxic and you're with the right person I think relationships are beautiful don't get me wrong I love love I'm a sucker for love I look forward to the day that I get to be in a relationship with someone where the feeling is mutual where the respect is mutual and we both want each other and want to grow together and all that beautiful stuff that time is not yet but anyway we we um we uh we move we move um but relationships also come with their own kind of like stuff you know like you you have to communicate with this person you have to be vulnerable with this person you're gonna have to open up to this person and i think sometimes the thought of being vulnerable with someone is actually very very scary so i'm actually very happy to continue <laughs> continue being single and you know there's just something about being single that is also very beautiful as well. And I think you need to be able to find the beauty in being single. And that is like, your time is your time. You can focus on yourself. I just feel like even when you like someone, so you're not even in a relationship, but when you like someone, you exert so much energy towards the person that it's, it's in a way it's draining and you need to be able to exert the same energy on yourself. And like, oh, I just feel like I can't do this video about being transparent. Ugh. I feel like people who know me will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But anyway, like recently, anyway, we've all liked somebody before, so it's human, it's a human thing to do. But like, yeah, I like someone, um, or I like someone, I don't know, oh, I really hate doing stuff like this on YouTube. But like, um, I was, I noticed that I had, you know, spent a lot of energy um you know you know you think about the person all the time you fantasize about oh what if we do this and if we go on this date and like i don't know you just think that you're cinderella like in your head and um i realized that with all of that like thinking and i'm the type of person who tends to put a lot of people before myself like even with friendship with family with work and all these kinds of things I noticed that I've been putting a lot of energy into like my environment into my surroundings into like different aspects of my life and I realized that I haven't actually put any energy towards myself and I think when you're single this is the time to actually be selfish this is the time to you know put energy to yourself you know like don't be drained like invest in yourself find out about yourself and I know I say this all the time but like it's like September now I don't know if this video will come out in September but um, <laughs> if it does 
<laughs> glory to god but literally literally this morning i was praying and i was like oh my gosh it's september and i feel drained and like yes i've accomplished a lot of things yes this whole year has literally been an emotional roller coaster there's been ups and downs i've achieved things i've like i've achieved certain milestones maybe i've gone 10 steps forward and like five steps back but i was like no in these last four months i just want to focus on me and make sure that i'm doing things that make me happy and even if i have to step on people's toes because it's getting to a point where like i'm just tired of like asking for permission to be happy and it's like when you're single you can just do you do you get what i mean like do you babe <laughs> focus on what makes you happy what would make you happy like i've got some you know different types of goals for like pertain pertain ugh, english pertaining to different aspects of my life and i just feel like yeah it's doable i can actually do this and i feel like when you're in a relationship with someone and just i don't know if i'm not talking for everybody but i'll talk for myself but even the act of liking someone takes up your time and i think imagine if this is the time that is being consumed just by liking someone imagine now when you're in a relationship with someone all the time that is going to be absorbed because you're going to be doing up late night phone calls you're going to be doing up late um what's it date nights you're going to be doing up oh i need to buy a gift for him i need to do this i need to do that like you're gonna like when you're in a relationship with someone it's not about number one it's number two like you genuinely do think about that other person a lot and i think when you're single you can use the time to focus on yourself focus on your career focus on your growth focus on what makes you happy heal go to therapy like <laughs> go to therapy find out what makes you tick and why find out how you can cope with things better and i think sometimes when you're single it's really important to do that inner work and do all the work that you need to do on yourself so that you know when you do enter a relationship um you don't have to now deal with things that is long that's going to be strenuous on your relationship it's better for you to be a whole person you meet another whole person and then you just have a whole life do you know what i mean um and that's not to do the work you shouldn't work on yourself so that you can have a happy relationship you should work on yourself so you can have a happy life and i think it's really important to have a happy life it's really important to have peace of mind it's important to you know have clarity it's important to have direction and know where you're going it's important to know what you're passionate about know what makes you happy know what excites you in this life and i think when you're single like i just i don't know like i feel like this year i have you know manage to find beauty in being single like i want to travel by myself i love going on dates by myself i feel like when you go on a date by yourself i have this thing whereby if i'm eating out in public with like other people i can't eat spaghetti or i can't eat like burgers and stuff like that unless i'm like eating with my family because i just feel like it's just really messy and it's just not cute like it's not cute for a date but if i go on a date by myself i'll be in all the spaghetti i eat spaghetti i eat burgers i eat chips i eat whatever i mean like you can just go there with peace of mind knowing that you're only there to please yourself you can look you can decide the dress code you can decide if it's soft glam or if it's like glam glam you can decide if it's a thing of we're wearing heels or we're wearing flats or we're in trainers or whatever and it's all about you and how you feel in that moment and you can like i normally like take my journal with me i make sure i always have my airpods with me but you can watch netflix you can journal you can just admire the scenery you know but like being single is not a disease okay being single is not a disease and a relationship is not the cure for singleness let me just say that and being single and being in a relationship i don't think they should be compared they're very like separate entities and i know that you know 
we desire to be loved and to love. I think there's a quote that I posted on my Instagram and it's like, true happiness is to love and to be loved. Um, and it's true, as a human being, you're gonna wanna desire to be in a relationship. You're gonna wanna desire to have companionship. You're gonna wanna desire to be in a romantic relationship at some point. It's very normal for you to desire um, a relationship, but what is not normal is when it's very like obsessive. And I used to be a very obsessive, person when it comes to like relationships I think I recently um like a while ago on my Instagram I actually posted about how um I um oh how I really thought I was like Cinderella and I really thought my life was going to be a fairy tale and I was going to meet my prince charming and we'd run off into the sunset on our horse and like live in our castle and live ev like happily ever after um and I thought that you know a man was going to save me like save me from my um um my low self-esteem save me save me from how i felt towards myself save me from loneliness save me from financial difficulties heavy on the finances let me let me not even lie heavy on the finances i think being in a relationship is very very good for finances so we kind of combined or something together because carrying everything on your head by yourself is not that sweet spot anyway we move um but i genuinely thought that you know being in a relationship would like solve all of my problems and it's like no being in a relationship is not going to solve all of your problems if anything it's going to amplify the issues that you'll be having okay okay <laughs> so like um you know i used to think okay when i have a man i can go on holiday and when i have a man i'm going to go to this place and when i have a man i'm going to wear these clothes and when i have a man i'm going to do this and I'm gonna do. and i started to realize that i was literally putting my life on hold until love came into my life and that just sounds really 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 sad and these days i just do stuff like if i want to do something i'm going to do it the only reason why i won't do something is if i've had a conversation with my bank account and my bank account said no but my bank account might say okay maybe not this month but maybe next month maybe not even next month but maybe in two months time we can do this do you get what i mean and i think when you're single it's really important to like think like that and just know that like you can do anything you want to do don't wait for a man to come into your life in order for you to start living like it's just not the one do you get what i mean and like being single there's beauty in it you just need to find it like 